Are you hurt? No. No, I, I, I don't think so. What on earth happened? As a matter of fact, I went into a trance. A trance? <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. I'm always doing it. Well, it must make driving very awkward. Oh, it does. It does. Such a silly time for people to get in touch, isn't it? But they can be so selfish, you know. Can they? Well, what's wrong? I'm not sure. It's either someone from the other side or I'm starting a cold. Strange, I could have sworn. Where am I? Motley Hall. <laughs> Bulky! Bulky! What's up? One of those car things at a tree. There was a woman in it and Gudgeon's bringing her into the house. Martin St. Molios, how you squeak about nothing? It ain't nothing. There's something funny about her. Oh, funny, eh? <laughs> I could do with a laugh. She knew I was watching her. She kind of shivered. Could she see you? I didn't give her a chance. And it's been empty ever since. One. Really? One. Oh, how bad that you like it. It's an awful responsibility, of course. I often wonder if it will ever be sold. It was built by Sir Richard Uproar in the latter part of the 16th century. Now, that's General Uproar, one of his descendants. He died, oh, about 100 years ago. He's still here. Still here? Oh, yes. He's earthbound. How did she know that? Oh, would you like to sit down? What's more, he's not alone. There are several other wretched spirits. Who's she that calling fact, wretched? They're being watched at this very moment. I said she was funny. Huh, funny, but as funny as a Spanish Inquisition. Very rude for not introducing myself. I'm Emily Tiffin. Oh. It probably won't mean anything to you, unless you read Astral News, do you? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. No, I didn't think you would. Not many people do. Here. It may touch a supernatural chord somewhere. <laughs> I'm the editor, you see. Oh. And I'm also, though I say it myself, one of this country's leading sensitives. I see. Now, oh, Mr. Gudgeon, you see the world around you, but do you see beyond? No, I don't see beyond. Uh, I'd rather not. Oh, what a shame. You look quite psychic. Coco? Uh, no, thank you. In fact, I'm, I'm a bit worried about your car. Oh, isn't there a local garage that could get it going again? Well, I suppose Wilkinson's could fix it. It would depend how much damage there is. Would you like me to drive you into the village? Or oh, couldn't you go by yourself? Would she? They may not be able to mend it immediately. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I shall be quite at home here. You don't mind being left alone? No, oh, but I shan't be. No, of course not. No. no. Get the others. Oh, I think no. she means trouble. Oh, yes. oh, be as quick as I can. Feather answers. What kept you? White Feather has journeyed many moons. Nonsense. You were at the sales at Stevenage last Wednesday. White Feather's thoughts are as the wind blown tumbleweed. Oh, yes, there's always some excuse, isn't there? Do you know where we are? White Feather waits to hear. A fine spirit guide you've turned out to be. I have to tell you everything. Well, this is Motley Hall, and I have a strong feeling that something brought me here. Probably that one. I certainly didn't. Well, it must have been one of you. Uh, would, uh, odds budge, she can see a lot of us. But of course I can see you. I wouldn't be Emily Tiffin if I couldn't. Oh, by the way, this is my spirit guide, White Feather. What's a spirit guide? Well, it, it's one of us who helps people like her to get in touch with uh, one of us. How dare you bring that half-naked emanation into Motley Hall? Oh. I'll ask the questions, you painted savage. He doesn't look very savage to me. Huh. I know these beggars. If we were alive, we'd scout a lot of us, wouldn't you? Oh. How with a blasted tomahawk, of course. Do you really think so? You'll be the first to go. Oh. How? Oh. How? Oh. 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 That was a confounded parrot. Something brought me here. 
Well, then it can take you away again, can't it? <laughs> Were you a lady up for? I was Certainly not. Much. Perhaps you're the reason I was led here. <laughs> now, look here, madam. It's awfully kind of you to be so concerned. And we do appreciate it, don't we? Oh, but the fact is, we'd rather be left alone. Uh, nothing personal, you understand? Oh! Please. <laughs> it's just a little idiosyncrasy of ours. Not too keen on haunting, actually. Bit of a bore. So, if you wouldn't mind... But you're earthbound! She makes it sound like a disease. Of course we're earthbound, and don't take a clairvoyant to see that. But White Feather and I can free your troubled soul. Oh, I can't stand much more. All right, all right. Look, madam, has it not occurred to you that we might prefer to be earthbound? Prefer to be earthbound? Yes. Well, well, you prefer it. You're hiding something, aren't you? Something you don't want me to know about. A skeleton in the cupboard. How dare you? Which cupboard? You'll only find peace if you tell me. We were perfectly peaceful before you arrived. Oh, no, you weren't. You are just saying that. Otherwise, you wouldn't be earthbound. Oh, if she says that word again, I shall scream again. Hey, no notice. Let's just vanish. Yeah. Capital notion. Strategic <laughs> withdrawal, <laughs> don't I? Stop us from vanishing. Oh, how humiliating. My psychic powers are too strong for you, aren't they? Oh, oh it's bad. That was dreadful. Very well, madam. Since that is your attitude, we shall go else. Where? Yes. But, sir, no. I hope, madam, that when you shuffle off your particular mortal coil, some ill-mannered medium will make your afterlife as unbearable as you are making ours. Well said. Thank you. And furthermore, retreat. But Sir George, Sir George, come back. It's no good running away from things. You have to face up to them, whatever they are. You wait there. You can't hide from I don't know Emily how you put up with her. She'd be ducked in my day. Emily Tiffin, heap powerful medium. Is that why we can't vanish? Spirit world must obey. Face jokes. It is so. Many moons have passed since White Feather wandered in happy hunting ground. So what? Happy hunting ground. Oh, oh, that's where it is. Aid White Feather. Eh? Help him return to happy hunting ground. How? How? No, hell. Hell. Be spirit guide. Me? Heavenly different spirit. You must be jesting. Besides, she can't stop you going if you want to. She stopped us disappearing. Yeah, that's true. Always she must have spirit guide. Yeah, well, it ain't going to be me. White Feather will return by sunset. Oh, God, Bodkin, that's only for about two hours. Will you stand it for him? White Feather will honour Bodkin's name. It shall be carved on the great totem pole which stands in the valley of the ever-smiling ones. Well, eh? White Feather will never forget. All right, then. I'll do it. White Feather is Bodkin's blood brother. Oh, be silly. We ain't got any. Only till sunset, mind. How? 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 <laughs> You must be too near her. What do you mean? Well, her powers are too strong. We can't vanish and neither can he. Excuse me, can you get outside? Try down by the gate. Her powers can't reach that far. Oh, beg your pardon. How? 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 Don't forget, back by sunset. Uh, <clears throat> it's cool. Happy hunting ground, eh? <laughs> That's a funny sort of heaven. You've probably all got one somewhere. Yeah. What would yours be, do you think, Bodkin? The old Globe Theatre on Bankside. That'd be my happy hunting ground. Full to the doors and me with a million new jokes and the whole audience merry as mice in milk for the rest of eternity. Mr. Finn. 
Miss Tiffin. Mrs. They're oh. hiding. I can't find them anywhere. Where's White Feather? Go oh, to Happy Hunting Mr. Wilkinson Grounds. has fixed your car. He can't do that. What? He's done it. He'll be back by sunset. Did he tell you that? He says the damage was superficial. And you believed him. What do you Why? mean? What exactly did he tell you? He said I you might need a new radiator. You. Dreadful liar. But I assure you. He's tricked both of us. What? Really? He'll never come back. He's gone forever and put you in his place. What are you talking about? Which makes you Emily Tiffin's new spirit guide. Glory on. Thank you very much. No. Oh, what a shame. He's so beautifully clear, aren't you? Some of them are a little fuzzy, but he's almost lifelike. I can hardly see through you. I'm not leaving this house. Oh, yes, you are. I have a seance at nine o'clock and I need you to help. I haven't left Motley all since... Leave it to me. I don't want to. Oh, don't be silly. It'll do you good. Shall we go? Why not? Oh, my bag. Fast, Martin. Relief is at hand. And Frank up! Oh, no, you don't. He's coming with me. <coughs> and there's nothing any of you can do about it. Oh, come along, Vodkin. Come with you. Really, Tom? Vodkin! I'm not coming. Why should I? Come I don't want to be your old spirit guide. Vodkin. Oh, we have to remove the bag. Come. Vodkin. Oh, oh, come back, hey. man. Well, what's happening to me? Hey, stop it! Help! My lady, Sir George, stop it! I don't want to go to sleep! It is a major disaster. Bodkin had been here in Motley Hall longer than any of us, with one possible exception, of course. And it is our duty to get him away from that dreadful woman by fair means or foul. And I look to each one of you. Penny. What are you reading? Uh, Astral News. Astral News. Which side are you on? Well, the other side, according to this. That rag is edited by the enemy. Oh, it's Bud, is it? Uh, what enemy? Emily Tiffin. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. It was just interesting. I had no idea there was such a lot of, of, of us about. Put it away! But I think we ought to read it. Fella, yeah, I've got a poltergeist in his lavatory. Huh? Can't you get rid of it? No. Keeps pulling the chain. Who? Oh, fellow or the poltergeist? <clears throat> a very boring article here on Ouija boards. Spirit writing and how to read it. Is my mother a werewolf? No idea. Unless... <sighs> Telepathy today. <laughs> oh. There's even a photo of Emily Tiffin here. Oh. Our editor in pensive mood at the Tower of London. Excuse me. Pensive? She looks bad-tempered to me. Uh, oh, I, I can't bear to look at her. Mrs. Tiffin failed to contact Anne Boleyn because of the traffic nearby. My psychic powers are very much weakened by noise, she said. And no matter we how... by noise. What? That's it. What is it? The way we can beat her. What? By George. Know your enemy. 
I don't, I don't follow. Hmm? Noise. Noise. There's only one tiny problem. Right. We can't go to her. No. no. She must come to us. With Bodkin. Poor old bodice. Well, how are we going to get her here? Hmm. Godjean! Stop primping and preening. It don't matter what you look like. Appearances are very important. This one is. Yeah. Here it comes. Mm -hmm. Go on. Whoa. <gasps> well, what are you doing? Getting in the mood. If you fight him to death, we'll have him here permanently. But no sense of occasion, no style. No. It is I. Me. I Depart in peace. That's not very nice. Well, it's deuced unfriendly. Can you hear me, Gudgeon? Depart in peace. Yes, later. Mark well my words. You aren't half making a meal of it. Oh, please. Mark well my words. Find Emily Tiffin. Tell her she must come again to Motley. Why? Tell her! Well, I don't know how to get in touch with her. You don't know how to get in touch with her. Right, care of Astral News. Oh, oh. We did. Well then, what's it all about? We've decided to tell you everything. Oh, Sir George, you won't regret it, I promise you. I'm glad. Your awful secret's quite safe with me. Good. Wait for my signal. We're coming down. I knew you were going to be cooperative the moment Gudgeon wrote to me. I told him he was psychic. It'll be just between us. Mm. How's Bodkin? I didn't come all this way to chat about Bodkin. Oh, quite, quite. Mm. We just thought it would be, well, nice to see him again, that's all. Why? Well, uh, he is the reason that we are still here. Bodkin is? Yes, didn't you know? No, I didn't. <laughs> if it hadn't have been for Bodkin, well, we would have passed on years ago, wouldn't yes. we? Yes. I don't believe it. You've got some silly idea of getting him away from me, haven't you? What? Well... <laughs> no, no, no. We've seen how strong your powers are. <laughs> yes, you have, haven't you? Very well, I'll summon him. Very quiet, please. Bodkin, where are you? Gloriana! I'm in Motley! <laughs> My dear Bodkin! Sir George! Fanny! Uh, you haven't let me go, have you? Certainly not! Uh, uh, how are we getting on? Uh, medium. <laughs> Where's the white lady? She's... Wait. <laughs> she sends her apologies. I really think she should be here. Why? What's going on? Uh, we've decided to tell Emily our awful secret. Yeah. What awful secret? The one about the cupboard. What cupboard? The one with the uh, skeleton in it. Oh, yeah! yeah. Well, I were earthbound. Of course! Yes, sir. Well, <laughs> who's going to start? Well, I thought... I will. <clears throat> By the way, is it quiet enough for you? Yes, lovely, thank you. Why do you ask? Well, we know how important it is. Yeah. Anne Boleyn and, and, and all that. Anne Boleyn? Yes. Yeah. And the traffic. Traffic? The traffic, yes. And our noise weakens your psychic powers! <laughs> Stays with us. 
belongs to me. Oh, he does. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, no, I don't. Bodkin, come here. Sir George, my lady. Nothing more than a psychic shuttlecock. Barkin. 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 Oh, Gloriana, here we go again. Closer and To you. Let Bodkin stay with us. You can always get hold of another Red Indian if you put your mind to it. Spirit guides are getting quite hard to come by. Besides, I want Bodkin. Oh, I can't think what she sees in me. Come here. White Feather has returned. See, it is not yet sunset. Not yet sunset? Not yet sunset? You've been gone three weeks. It is always morning in happy hunting ground. He's no idea of time. He's so unreliable. And we thought he'd tricked you. Oh, well, it's nice to have him back. I was beginning to miss him. You can keep Bodkin. He isn't the right type, anyway. All those dreadful jokes. Yes. As a matter of fact, at the last two seances, I had quite a few complaints. Come along, White Feather. How? How? A word of advice, Bodkin. From an old campaigner. What's that, Sir George? Never volunteer. For anything. 